being filled with the Holy Spirit. Okay. When we all come into the world, when we all entered the world, this means everybody who comes out of their mother and enter into the world. Uh, okay. They come into the world. The bottle will represent us. The water will represent the Holy Spirit. Stay with me. I'm talking about the difference between the indwelling of the Holy Spirit and being filled with the Holy Spirit. The bottle will represent us. The water will represent the Holy Spirit. Okay, just stay with me. When we come into the world, before we even accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we come into the world as a spirit, soul, body. I will go over the scriptures after I do the demonstrations, so don't panic. Spirit, soul, body. Somebody type spirit, soul, body. When we come into the world, we are spirit, soul, body. We are spirit beings, possess a soul, and we live in a body, okay? Now, we come into the world that way. That's everybody. Now, again, I'm talking about the indwelling, the difference between the indwelling of the Holy Spirit and being filled with the Holy Spirit. When we come into the world, we are spirit, so body okay now when we accept jesus as our lord and savior pay attention to the bottle we are we have the holy spirit has indwelt us when we accept jesus as our lord and savior notice we accept jesus as our lord and savior we have the holy spirit has indwelt us he is already inside of us by default, when we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we are indwelled with the Holy Spirit. Stay with me. I'm going to back up. When we come into the world, we are spirit, soul, body. This is everybody. When we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior and we come, and we come over to this state, we have been indwelled with the Holy Spirit. Now watch this. If I take this. And I go like this, right? And I pour more water in this body. That's being filled with the Holy Spirit. Okay, the good God Almighty. Listen to me. When we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we are indwelled with the Holy Spirit. We have it instantly. But we can be filled with the Holy Spirit, okay? Let me give you clarity. I don't want to confuse anybody. There is not more than one Holy Spirit. To be filled with the Holy Spirit simply means that we yield to his control, follow his guidance, and so we can live in his power. This is being filled with the Holy Spirit. When we are born, we are born here. We are spirit, soul, body. When we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior, by default, by just accepting him, we have been indwelled with the Holy Spirit. But we must be filled with the Holy Spirit. That means we start to yield to his control, follow his guidance, and then we can live in his power. This is the beauty about being filled with the Holy Spirit. Good God Almighty, man. You can ask the Father to fill you with his Holy Spirit every time you are going into a different assignment. You can be trying to get a new job and you can say, Father God, in the name of Jesus, fill me with your Holy Spirit. You will get the guidance and the control and you'll be able to live in his power. A lot of people don't understand the difference between the indwelling of the Holy Spirit and being filled with the Holy Spirit. That's why sometimes we see individuals who claim to be Christians and they may not be living up to how we believe a Christian should be living but instead of judging them judging them we need to tell them that they have to be filled with the Holy Spirit yes when you get saved we are indwelled with the Holy Spirit but in order for us to live in his power we have to ask to be filled with the Holy Spirit when we are born we're born spirit soul body when we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior, instantly we are indwelled with the Holy Spirit. But we must be filled with the Holy Spirit. Now pay attention to this. Notice the filling of this water. Water represents the Holy Spirit in this demonstration. The bottles represents our body. 
Notice that an outside source, good God Almighty, had to fill this bottle up with water. Now, that's in the natural. It's the exact same way in the spirit. It's the same exact way. An outside source, the Father, has to fill you with the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name.